Hello, I'm Kristen Volk, and this is a UPI White House Weekly. President-elect Barack Obama has added a senator and former governor to his cabinet. This week, Obama announced Colorado Senator Ken Salazar as his choice for Secretary of the Interior. He picked former Iowa Governor Tom Vilsack for Agriculture Secretary. Salazar is a first-term senator who is focused on public land and energy resource issues. He also made a name for himself in immigration reform. Vilsack briefly sought the Democratic presidential nomination and then became a high-profile supporter of Hillary Clinton during the primaries. As governor, he spearheaded the development of ethanol. Obama also announced Mary Shapiro as his choice to head the Securities and Exchange Commission. Shapiro is CEO of the Financial Industry Regulatory Authority, which is the largest non-government regulator for all securities firms doing business with the U.S. public. She is also a former SEC commissioner. And prominent liberal groups and gay rights proponents are criticizing Obama for choosing evangelical pastor Rick Warren to deliver the invocation at the inauguration next month. Warren is one of the most influential religious leaders in the nation who has advocated for an end to global poverty, the AIDS epidemic, and human rights abuses. But he has also taken socially conservative stances opposing gay marriage and abortion rights. A spokeswoman for Obama defended the president-elect's choice, saying that he disagrees with Warren on social issues and added that the inauguration will be the most open, accessible, and inclusive in history. And on a farewell trip to Iraq this week, President Bush dodged shoes that were thrown at him by an angry Iraqi journalist. It happened during a press conference with Iraqi Prime Minister Nouri al-Maliki. That incident prompted demonstrations in Washington, D.C., with protesters throwing shoes at a Bush impersonator and stomping on photos of the president. Bush, who wasn't hurt, laughed off the episode, saying it was just a bizarre moment in his presidency. That Iraqi journalist was arrested and appeared before a judge this week. He could face up to two years in prison. And that's all for now. Thanks for watching this UPI White House Weekly.